Hey everybody, so I have a thankful Thursday to do. It's an open tag, started by Singing Toad, Dave. Please go check him out, it's a great channel, great guy. And uh, I really do enjoy this open tag. Um, also check out Kirby Creek Mo. And um, I'm also gonna do an unboxing. <laughs> if I don't mess it up. That's the problem, I always mess them up. Um, and we're gonna try and fix fix up a little bit with some of these knives. These have got a bunch of CRKT, CRKT knives. Uh, the first person that I want to thank is Elan. Really great member of the community, really generous person. Um, this is not my knife, this is his knife. He just let me check it out. And I figured today I'll do a first impression and then on probably like Saturday I'll do a, a in-depth review. And I'm still carrying Buck 301. I figured I'd keep it up here on my desk so I don't cheat. But let's get to it. There might be some information inside, so I'm going to open it off camera just to get it out. But paper, and um, I guess that's that's what's in the box. Cool. This is a editions. Oh, it's a custom knife. It's. 218 of 300 and this is a fantastic knife i'm sure it feels nice and solid just even through that bag but let's check it out i'll figure out how to pronounce the the name of it laurent laurent de lord that's who i uh, designed the knife and it's a beautiful knife. It comes from France. But let's check out the slip real quick. Just we're just peeking at it right now. Just first impressions. This is awesome. Um holy moly, look at that. That just feels beautiful. <laughs> There's no problem with this. I'm gonna just peek at it. I don't see any light coming through. Maybe like the tiny, tiny, tiny bit of pin pointlets. Nothing you can see has a little bale on it. Wow, just look at that. What kind of, I don't even know what kind of wood it is. That's so beautiful. Anyways, he bought this um, because it's cheaper to get it in the US than in the I guess EU or UK. Really beautiful spear point. And again, I'm not gonna do a review, but really, really good pull once you get to the half stop probably like a six here I mean, again we're not gonna review it but i just want to show you that that's beautiful and i wanted to say thank you to elan for letting me look at this um i will try not to get patina on it <laughs> um so let's set that aside that's beautiful that's awesome uh these next three um two were gifts and i can't remember which one of these ones was was uh when I had to give back, but um, this is the same person. He let me borrow the K bar that looks like a little mini katana. <laughs> really cool. Um, he gave me two, like I said, he gave me this one and one of these ones. And I can't remember which one, but they're kind of, it feels kind of, I mean, it's auto, it's assisted, so I feel like it doesn't quite feel flicky enough. This one, I definitely have to, it has a lock on the back, which I'm kind of mixed feelings on that one, but good jimping on it. Um, if I just try and push it fast, I almost feel like my hands and my thumb's gonna slip and I'm gonna hit the serrations. You can do the wrist flick. But I'm gonna try and fix this one up today. This one, I was messing with a little bit, I tightened it. Put some oil in there. It does look kind of like it's gunky. So I think I'm going to make a video, uh, a separate video on this one. But I got it to open pretty nicely. That's pretty cool. It's about the size of a 110. Really cool knife. Very grippy. But um, I figured today we'll mess with um, at least this one. I'm going to try first just to put some oil in there. This is uh, from Ken Last Chance Knives. So I might have to order some more of that. But I'm just going to. Put some of that pivot flush in there. 
and then once it's open i'll put a little bit more on here and we'll see how this goes i'm probably cleaning the blade up and sharpen it. i'm not sure how sharp it is i'll cut the i'll cut this no, just okay <laughs> um here we go so it definitely needs sharpening i got my sharpener Oh, look at the, look how good that was. I didn't have to mess with the pivot. Just look at that. And I'm probably gonna work this a little bit, clean it. I couldn't do that before. It was, it would be like that. I could open it like that. So I don't even think I have to take this one apart. You can see some of it, some of that gunk right here. here I'll just try and get that off. Here, I'll just spread that oil up here, help me. Clean it. And this one feels pretty comfortable. A little, a little bit of a hot spot at the end. You got a nice lanyard hole back there. Let's see how she had the design designer. So model number six seven eight two G. That's a Crawford Casper design. Um, pretty wicked, pokey, stabby blade. Has serrations on it, whether you like that or not. Um, I don't think, I'm not sure if these are still in production. Most of the CRKT knives I have are no longer being made, so. I was getting ready though, if I had to mess with the pivot, I have a, what is this? It's a wee hot bit, I just can't see it because I'm blind. T8, okay. So you get a T8 pivot. I'm not gonna mess with it right now, I'm just showing you. Same thing with the other ones, I think this one's T8. And if that's all I need to do to fix that up, I think it's good to go, other than the sharpening. Because look at that, that's, well, I messed up there, but. So yeah, look at all that gunk in there, God. It's amazing what just a little bit of oil can do. I know this is probably going to be a boring video, but. Oh, and also, uh, Jesse and I, there's no, no problem with, between us. We're just not going to be doing our show for a little while. We'll get that sorted out later on. We just both got stuff we got to deal with. But hopefully we'll get back to it. We're going to start doing it on Saturdays. Um, I will be on with um, MBEDC every now and then, probably every other Sunday, just like I've been doing with Jesse, just every other, I don't want to do it every, every week. There, look at that. Still dirty. We're going to clean that a little bit more. Let's try and mess with this one. I'm, I think all I need to do is oil. So we'll oil the pivot really good. Oh, that, you, you can just tell just by doing that, it feels like the spring hits or the blade hits a spring and you, you feel like a little like that in the blade so that's perfect but we're gonna work at the pivot so you sometimes you don't really don't have to do a whole lot of stuff to a knife except now it's all slippery <laughs> so be careful that's how i uh slice the crap out of my finger is cleaning a knife with that oil that's so much better. That's all, it's amazing that's all you had to do. Now this one, I put oil on it and it's a lot better, but it's, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's very gritty. So it definitely needs to be cleaned. But it's, you know, as long as they do a good firm flick on there. Again, it has that same lock on it. I don't like it. The only reason I don't like it is because it's, it's so easy to do. You put it in your pocket, um, it's tipped down. So when you put it in your pocket, it's gonna lock it. You want to have something that's kind of ready, I think. But still, this one needs a lot more work. Yeah, let's see how sharp the blade is. Oh, it's a wicked, wicked flick to it now. So not very sharp. Let's see. Sometimes all you need to do is like a, here, I'll, I'm using that one. This is the strop that, um. RW had J, uh, J O Ventures make for me, so shout out to both of them. What to see is dropping helps though. Just what 
little bit of stropping can do. And if I'm doing this wrong, you guys can blame Patty. Um, he was the first person I saw, I actually watched doing this and tried to mimic it. And it worked, my knives got sharp. I didn't have to use the diamond plate. I didn't have to, uh, I guess we'll put it more on camera, I'm sorry. I'm getting used to this new angle. I'm surprised I didn't have to use my uh, screwdriver at all though. That was pretty, pretty cool. And I'm not pressing, I'm just letting the blade kind of lay flat. I'm not really sure what angle I'm at. I'm kind of more like, could probably do a little bit higher. And quit messing up my desk. <laughs> all right, let's see. So this is the last cut. You can see it's very, it's like it's a tort. So I think I'm going to do one on the ceramic, but look at that. You can see it's a lot more jagged on the first cut. So I think what I'm going to do is just do a few. A few passes on the ceramic rod. I'm going to do a little more stropping. I know that's the only thing that sucks about the thumb side because you, you can't get, you have to kind of guess where it is when you pull it out. But you can feel like a grittiness when you use the ceramic. And you can feel that grittiness go away. And this is, this has got to be, the word sharp sharpener has got to be the, like the best sharpener I've ever used. Just because you have the diamond plates, they're removable. You have storage space for cleaning supply. You can change this for uh, sharpening fish hooks. Or is that what that one's for? I can't remember. One of those is for fish hooks, but I'm not worried about that because I'm not sharpening fish hooks. And I'm, not, I'm pressing a little bit, but not really hard. All right. So that was the last cut. Let's see if it's any better. Look at that. Look what, what effort I did. I just did stropping and then I did ceramic rod. I'm gonna strop a few more times and I think we're done with the video. I'll work on that one off camera, but let's just see if I can get a little bit sharper. And you know, I never really use the, let the, the smooth leather side on my other strop. So maybe I should start doing that. Just a little bit. All right. Oh my gosh, sharp that is now. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's really sharp. Anyways. Well, I gotta go get band aid, but uh, thank you all for watching. Um, Thank you to Elan for letting me borrow the, the knife. Let me have a look at it. Uh, thanks to Singing Toe for starting this open tag. Ken Last Chance Knives for sending me the oil. Um, I forgot to get her out of a sticker, so I apologize. But I'll have links down below to all their channels. Well, except for Elan. He doesn't have a channel yet. And uh, oh, shout out to MBDC. I'm still only carrying the Buck 301. And. Um, that's it. Thank y'all for watching. You have a great night. I will probably do a video tomorrow and Saturday, hopefully on this one. And um, I should have been, I should cut myself with that knife. Damn it! I think I kept it. <laughs>